Hi YouTube, I am back with a pick a card. Um, go ahead and make your selection and let's look into your signs. What they what do they really mean? What are they trying to communicate to you? Okay, if you're if you've been seeing a lot of signs, one little tip that I feel sometimes when I'm getting a lot of different signs like a lot of 999s, 888s, 777s, I see it in one day I see like four different signs and I'm like okay what what does it really mean we well I feel that when you see a lot of different signs here and there that's because you're going through a shift I feel that's what I feel <laughs> I don't know what other other readers believe um, but when when you you can kind of know if you really want to practice your intuition you kind of can feel and just know i don't know how to explain it but um yeah that's what i i feel that when you see a bunch of signs and of course one when, when you're starting to learn you look them up online and it's like well it means this this number means this this number means that that number means this you know like and it's different areas of your life that's because it kind of seems like it, it's you're going through a big shift in your life okay so that's just one little tip of course when something comes up you don't always have to go by online um something could be particular your sign something that it just um you just know that it is your sign i don't know how to explain it <laughs> Um, but it could also, if you don't know, you can always look online and give you some insight that way. Or you can pull a card and and see what it really is. You know, that's what I do sometimes. Um, pull a card and say, okay, what really does this sign mean? Or when you're thinking of something and you see the sign, that is uh, another confirmation. Okay, so anyways, let's just get started. I was just wanted to share some tips there. Okay, we have the uh, pink peace Buddha, the green praying Buddha, Buddha, um, and then I think, I think is Namaste. I forgot the names of the Buddhas. Okay, we have I think this harmony. I don't know. I think this is love. This is um, uh, harmony. I think. Anyways, I'll probably get the keep trying to get the names of them but anyways have a purple orange blue green pink okay so we're gonna start with the pink as always on this side and then let's see what we have okay okay pink what do we have for it pink sign there okay so your signs here we have 616 I don't know if you've seen that or not but if you do see it you could be maybe needing to oh I almost thought it said um, watch your spending so that's probably for someone but it says watch your spending responsibilities oh it does say that Duh. we have egotistical okay so don't um i hate starting a sentence don't <laughs> okay so watch your spending um don't try to just spend money and show off what you're spending or show off you know there's a lot of um people that don't like to see that um and m you might attract the evil eye but that's just my belief but um just or don't buy stuff just to for people to talk okay i don't know um it, that's what I'm getting here something sweet or something sour is coming for you within the hour <laughs> trick or treat okay so something could be coming in um, unexpected it could be before October because we have trick or treat okay so we have serendipity beauty and prudence okay prudence yeah govern and discipline yourself by voice of reason yes listen to that um, that voice of yours okay watch your spending again now is the time to be discerning wow that kind of yeah discerning and only move forward if you're uh, if you assess your risk to result in favorable fair outcome others will try to sway you use care caution and good judgment okay don't do it for uh, 
don't don't do it because others are doing it or don't do it because you're you're um, trying to convince someone or don't let them influence you okay use care caution and good judgment remove yourself from any risky re situations keep a cool head stay in control so stay in control with the serendipity here this almost seems like they're giving you warnings okay um use good judgment discipline yourself as well why because we have um an omen here this is an omen that happy surprise you did not plan for or expect is a is on its way oh, and I said something's coming unexpected within the hour you know like something sweet something sour you don't know so it's that's why I said it, unexpected something you didn't plan for the universe has conspired to bring something of good fortune to you this could be with love money health or unexpected discovery or recovering something thought to be gone or lost to the winds of fate this is favorable game of chance. So there is something here coming towards you. Let's see what else we get. Okay. Let's see, give me more. Let's give me more um, answers for the pink pile. Give me more answers. So it's going to be different for everyone. Dreams come true. I see, there is something here. Didn't it say happy surprise? Uh, something. I said something here. Stay in control. This could be the universe is conspired to bring something of good fortune to you. Something unexpected. Okay, so do the right thing. Do f what feels right. I don't know there is something here that you're not supposed you're not meant to know yet it's like they want to keep it a secret I mean a secret a surprise okay <laughs> ask a different question meaning you're you're not going they, they sometimes things do not come out because you're not meant to know because maybe you're working on yourself and they don't want you to steer off that that path or maybe you're working on something and you have to finish it and it seems if they don't want you to know something they it just won't be revealed to you or it could be different for everyone it is general reading but um because if they figured if you know something you'll stop doing what you're doing okay sometimes it's just not meant for you to know what is this ask a different question give me let's see what else what comes out with this yeah see if you're working on something don't stop i don't know what you're working if you're work, you can work be working on yourself you could be working on um healing uh, working on a project working or just doing what you're doing don't stop okay <laughs> that's what i said and we have work stay focused what is this dreams come true so dreams come true i like that Look at that, Four of Swords. If you're healing and working on you. Yeah, if you're healing, if you do the work, keep going. Or whatever you're doing. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands. I know you've been through a lot here, but your angels, your spirit guides, they want you to keep going. Okay, don't. This is not the time to, to quit. Okay. I don't know if you've been trying to take a time out or... Or it seems like all your hard work is going to pay off. Or there is something here. If you're working on yourself, on a craft, on a project, something's going to be paying off. A dream come true. Okay. Give me more answers for the pink pile. If you like this reading, let me know if you want to see it more often. Okay. Yes. Yeah, see, that's a confirmation. It seems like a lot of you, the shift is happening where the eclipses, look at that, the star, dreams come true. Yes, it's a confirmation. Dreams come true, we have it here. Keep going. There is something changing in your environment, in your, in your emotions could be, it could be, it's just, um, 
this to me this yes card because i can't resonate with the yes i always look at the depiction it seems like an eclipse an eclipse here changes things okay we just had an eclipse i think in may so um in the next what may june we're in june uh, July, August, September. Maybe by September you'll see what this means. See? Be patient. Two major arcanas. Two major arcanas. Be patient. Um, have the courage to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if you're healing, but there's huge things happening for you. Okay? I didn't want to keep um, clarifying this one because... I want to stop there so I just keep working on what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Let's see what this um, something sweet is. Well, that's almost the same thing. So let's see. What is this? Um, watch your spending. Watch your spending. Yeah look at that and enjoy the time right now enjoy the moment there is going to be reason to celebrate here there's a lot of happiness if you see a lot of um yeah be careful with the egotistic thing just stay don't try to spend in order you know kind of like for example i have an old car i love my car okay it has a sunroof and everything love it okay um it's small it's my my car and i love it so much i know it's old but it still looks nice i'm not gonna go out there and get another bill just because i want a newer car just so people can see that i have a newer car i can you know i really can right now but i don't want to <laughs> i love my car and i don't want that extra bill okay so and my brother is different he don't care he wants the newest of the newest you know why because he loves to show everyone that he has the money he is so different but he has his own path you know his own karma <laughs> to deal with but he has his own karmic journey that he needs to learn so don't do that that's just an example okay but um so be do what makes you happy Okay, because there is going to be a reason for celebration pretty soon for you. Okay, and it doesn't want to reveal what it is, so I'm not going to dig more. Um, <laughs> okay, so that is what I have. I do have, oh, I see all signs here. Uh, Leo, we have fire, air. Um, we have Aquarius here. Leo, strong Leo. Okay. So that is what I have. The signs don't matter because I only chose, I just picked out a, a little bit of signs here. I mean, um, cards, tarot cards. Okay. So number twos. Let's see what the signs are telling you or letting you know. We have 10, 10. Shifting timelines, completion, we have 212, awakening partnership, manifesting thoughts, progression of love. So I don't know if you're seeing a lot of twos here or 212 or 1010. You could be, uh, it doesn't have to be, but I just asked the cards, what are your signs pointing at? What are they trying to communicate? And we have wish fulfillment and chastity. Okay, so there is a wish fulfillment here. And we do have manifesting thoughts, so be careful with that. There is progression of love. Maybe you are connecting with someone um, telepathically, or there is there is a shift here. Um, feeling of wholeness, completion. You've completed something, and the, you're going on to the next um, level. Meaning, you you're leveling up here. I feel like there's a level up big time. Okay, is it time to abstain? It's it's a time to abstain from acts or behaviors that could degrade or defile you on a physical, emotional, and spiritual, psychological level. So, yeah, it, it is a level up. So, abstain from, you know, those bad behaviors, those habits, whatever you did in the past, those 
bad habits or um, your body is a temple your heart is pure your your soul is precious your mind is sharp um, only allow worthy energy to touch you or enter your sacred space access to you must be earned okay i feel like you're in that energy and you're doing really good that's why you're getting a wish fulfillment if you're not you're gonna come into that energy or you're needing to work on that and your angels are trying to um are trying to communicate that to you we have wish fulfillment this is a positive omen of happy endings we have endings here shift timelines okay this could sim symbolize good health happy family love financial freedom growth and renewal this represents a combination of your hard work effort and good intentions healing from suffering has come wow the sun is shining on you rest eat well celebrate your milestone see milestone and we have a completion here a feeling of wholeness working on you okay. wow i i love that energy Give me more for the green pile. I love it. I feel like a lot of you have been healing. That's why you chose green for some of you. Let's see. Give me more answers for the green. It's not too late okay think outside the box okay i don't know what that could be but let's look into it what is this it's not too late it's not too late oh some of you feel like ooh. some of you feel like time is running out because you're not in you have not you're not where you think you're supposed to be you know you know how it's that feeling that when you were little you would say when you were younger i mean you would say oh by 23 i'm gonna be married have kids and and you could be i don't know 29 30 years old and it was like well where's my family where's my kids where's my husband where's you know or where's my wife that kind of feeling it's not too late okay so that's what they're trying to communicate for some of you it, there is just no timeline everybody has their own journey uh we have think outside the box too some of you are needing to think outside of your own uh, traditional beliefs or um culture maybe i don't know why i'm getting that but that's for some of you not all of you what is this it's not too late give me more on this queen of wands it's not too late judgment there is a pressure here like you you're feeling like something here needs to happen by a certain time it is but be confident you are becoming who you are you're waking up you're working on yourself your confidence or you should be working on your confidence and it is okay and it's not gender specific okay for some of you if you're waiting on a female to come back yeah they're coming back okay hopefully it's not too late um what is this think outside the box but that's for like a couple of you okay let's think outside the box yeah someone here is hanging on to i don't want to say narrow is is close-minded about how things will unfold naturally just let it go think outside the box of how things will come in it doesn't have to be a certain way that you're thinking oh this can only happen i can only become a millionaire if i win the lotto that's kind of like a narrow-minded closed-minded okay no you could become a millionaire if you invest in stocks if you invest here i'm not telling you to invest okay the market does not look good right now 
but you know something like that no you can become a millionaire if you if a rich uncle reaches uh, reaches out to you you know and inherits you inherited money okay so think outside the box don't hold on too much to something here um yeah think outside the box what is this knight of swords and be very firm firm assertive what is this knight of swords about keep yourself out of any kind of drama for some of you okay stay reserved don't don't um give in to any kind of drama and stuff like that okay there is some clarity coming here but you're just needing to let go okay some victory if you just let go of an outcome okay of trying to control an issue i don't know what that means okay so that's what's your that's probably going to be different for everybody okay be open-minded on how to decide things as well I have had to stop myself for, uh, at work <laughs> for those of you that know I have a full time job and I have to stop myself ground myself okay I'm let it go it's okay it's okay <laughs> I don't have to say anything right now <laughs> I don't have to okay so let's see give me more for the green pile no look at that with take action this one wanted to come out but i put it back in okay i'm just gonna take that as a sign because it is a sign reading okay so uh, some of you need needing to take action firm action and and be clear on what you want and don't let it sway you okay um look at that look at these cards and then look at these cards they have um what is it called i forgot what it is some somebody correct me i don't know is it it's not a trumpet uh, i don't know but look at that this is my judgment and look at these so it's just confirmation for me take action needing to take action do what you be very assertive be um but don't be harsh okay and holds back from doing any impulsive impulsive um action okay but think clearly but don't do something without thinking okay i don't know how to explain it but take action but don't do something without thinking okay holds back on uh, anything impulsive think outside the box but um make a strategy or something like that okay because it seems that way or some of you are just holding back too much that you're needing to really take action for some of you um for others of you we have no here but i don't resonate with the titles here what what i do resonate here is that you're needing to really wake up and keep working on yourself be confident in what you're doing stand tall on what you believe in there is something from the past that could be coming back for some of you but this is like a wake-up call making a final decision or maybe you are feeling a bit pressured onto doing something and your angels want you to know no there is something here opening up for you something that maybe you thought was way too late for it to complete but it's coming into fruition okay there is a complete here a wish fulfillment so do what's right but oh that's why i said it don't do anything harshly okay abstain from acts or behaviors that could degrade or defile on your physical emotional spiritual or psychological level okay your body is your temple reserve yourself do not give in to any kind of drama or anything like that if you do the right thing your wish will you are like i feel like there is a wish coming true pretty soon it's just taking a while okay so let's see give me more of this take action you're gonna go you're gonna feel yeah take action look at inspired action okay these are like almost like ideas thrown away it's thrown out in the air but nothing here is grounded so maybe get something 
move forward like it, inspired action could be like if you have that feeling to start that new business go for it okay but strategize it of course make a plan go out there make a plan go for it there is movement forward if you're looking for uh, fulfillment success do the work go out there and do it make it happen sometimes we have to make it happen i had a business before this and i made it happen i took a course i did everything that i needed and i went out there and got my clientele of course that didn't, I, they didn't really work out for me but still you know i made the did the research what is this no yeah don't fall into any kind of emotional think of yourself first okay oh yeah see something emotional okay some of you are needing to be confident on what um you're set out to to do there is something here from the past that wants to come in and be careful because be careful okay put yourself first okay there could be something here that wants to creep into you but you've worked so hard so you have to be discerning discerning of what you let into your life okay some of you do not want this back and that's probably why we're getting a no something from the past here so again um don't fall for anything that could result in you know a setback or anything like that okay so that is what i have i'm going to be straight out for you for most of you you should not take that that um back something from the past but of course some of you need to really heal from this heartache first in order to really um and use your intuition okay some of you are still thinking about this and healing from it so just be careful on jumping into something else that without even thinking and resulting in heartache okay so that is what i have i hope that made sense for anybody it's for somebody I don't know. what is this progression of love though manifesting thoughts yeah see be careful with your thoughts because right now it could be that you're manifesting your thoughts okay so really focus on self-love self-care what is this um progression of love about whoa too many whoa somebody coming in the world someone from oh this is new oh this is new this could be of course new energy but somebody here coming in feeling uh, wanting success here somebody from far away overseas or something like that could be too um doesn't have to be so a traveler and have faith in it okay because it could be someone new here with no baggage no emotional baggage at all okay wow could be someone new okay but we do also have past coming up past energy i did see aries pisces taurus leo aquarius scorpio cancer sag um virgo cancer air signs gemini okay so that is what i have thank you so much for watching let's move forward okay the blue what do we have for blue buddha here Mm, a few weeks to go you can make it fast or make it slow perspective so maybe changing your perspective we have 999 ending cycles close cycles close new beginnings reconciliation we said new beginnings but i don't know about this <laughs> some of you of course want reconciliation let's see what is this um it says forgiveness emotional healing and a return of former connections is on the way you have options to accept or reject the offer expect apologies explanations and sincerity letting go of grudges helps the healing process yes letting go okay because that cannot you cannot go 
towards this new beginning if you still hold some kind of resentment some kind of grudges if you're still crying over what happened in the past that baggage cannot go on to your 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 um new beginning here and then we have um you can make it you can make it fast or make it slow meaning changing that per that um perception because if you're still thinking about the past and oh it might happen again i don't want it to happen again i don't want to start all over and happen again you know or jump into something and having it it just it's that reminiscing about the bad okay so we have openness honesty and gentleness with will help you start over with clean slate Ooh, a clean slate a new beginning queen of earth this represents a feminine energy who could be an astrologer astrological earth sign or your seventh house could be an earth sign okay um or have dominant earth signs in their natal chart a queen of earth displays traits of loyalty stability pragmatism prag pragmatism being grounded down to earth and practical she is slow moving methodical and unwavering she is sensual and loves luxury so that's kind of like the empress the queen of pentacles maybe to somebody that is always there for others takes care of their peoples and takes care of themselves values themselves they've worked hard for where they, where they've been um where they're at i mean <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. What do the angels give me more angel answers? Spirit guides answers for the blue. What do their signs mean? Put your shield on. You are protected. Okay. So it seems as if somebody, some of you, yeah, some of you are needing to protect yourselves. Some of you, there is someone coming in towards you and look at that, wanting to apologize. Somebody that has not let go, wanting to apologize and you're needing to really put your shield up, might be needing to protect yourself from them, but you are protected, okay? So if there is something that doesn't work out, so it's for your protection. Let's look into it. What is this? Put your shield on. Oh, put your shield down. Sorry about that. Some of you, that just came out. So some of you need to put your shield up. But it says put your shield down. So some of you are still thinking about the past and thinking that it's going to happen again. And that is kind of... Um, how do I say? Yeah, you're you're too blocked. You're blocking yourself. What is this? Put your shield down. And I don't I don't blame you at all. Okay, what is this? Put your shield down. Somebody's trying to come in, and you have a shield. So look at that. Put your put that sword down, Queen of Swords. It could be some kind of resentment, something here, some bitterness, some harsh feelings that you still are feeling. And you're giving, see, look at that. Three of Swords. So it's, I know you've been through it a lot. You've been jaded. You've been hurt. And you, you, you some of you have become a bit cynical about love. Um, mm, I, don't, I don't like to use that word. I don't like it. But... <laughs> But some of you are being too harsh, okay? Um, some of you are still healing, okay? So it's really changing your perspective here, okay? You're protected. And I know it's not easy. It's not easy. You're protected. You're protected from... Look at that. And I was going to say that quote but i always butcher quotes i butcher everything quotes songs um names but anyways four of cups rejection is protection okay four of cups is rejection or if you feel like there was a missed opportunity that was because you were protected 
also with the Wheel of Fortune here, something unexpected could come towards you, okay? Something is turning around for you. Something coming in, a change of luck. So there could also be you needing to prepare for this change, okay? It's a new beginning, too. Cycles close, opening up. What is this reconciliation about? Give me more of this reconciliation. What is this reconciliation? Oh, with the Ace of Wands. Sorry, I need to turn that off. I had a lot of sage going on earlier, so I had to turn on the fan. What is this Ace of Wands? Could be with a fire sign. What is going on here? Yep, new beginnings for sure. Okay, new beginnings. Uh, you could have choices as well. We feel like this is new energy, like a new earth sign, a new fire sign. It could be something a lot more stable, more secure. You're um, going into something. It's blessings too. Okay, blessings from the universe here. Okay. Wow. Let's see what else we have here. Give me more for the blue pile. Wow. That is pretty good energy. So put your shield down because something's trying to come in for you all. A change of luck as well. Listen to your intuition. So again, like I said, listen to your intuition. Some of you, yeah, needing to change that perspective, perception too. Give me more of this, listen to your intuition. Something here is already telling you something's coming. And let go, let go of those burdens that you're carrying. Let go of these cannot go with you in this new beginning so it's up to you look at that the star it's time for healing or everything that you've gone through everything that you've been carrying it's th there is something here coming true for you something is coming for you okay it, you're at the end of it, it all you're gonna feel relieved I don't know what it is though it could be of course regarding this reconciliation a wish fulfillment of yours something that was weighing heavy on you is going to be released yeah listen to your intuition to do not let your ego or pride get the best of you okay so yeah that is what i'm getting Okay, so that is what I, or harsh words, be careful with that too, or stubbornness. Okay, so we do have <laughs> fire, earth, uh, we have a Sag, a Pisces, Aquarius, uh, Libra, doesn't have to be though, we see all signs there, so it's just a few tarot cards too. So let's keep going with the orange, the orange Buddha. Let's see, we have depression in the dark, you feel the heart. In the, It's in the dark, you feel the heart. Who's, who's sad? We were doing so good. Tomorrow is another day. Try again another way. Something here is not working out for you and you're needing to try again. Some of you have probably been going through something dark and you know um maybe you need to really cry it out and then the next day you'll feel a lot more better honor those feelings but don't stay in them okay we have living space the time has come to make changes to your living uh, space this may be an omen to move locations clean up clutter change housemates or set new ground rules for equal effort towards task and chores Ooh, that's crazy because i yesterday 
I cleaned out my whole closet. I needed to because clothes, clutter, especially your, especially my closet, holds a lot of energy. When you have a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of, you need to move those around. Even if you, even clothes that are sitting there more than six months, that's the rule, right? Um, well, I use that rule for the first time ever because I had to give up on some clothes saying, you know what? It's already been more than a year. We need to get rid of this. Right? <laughs> but, um, yeah. So cleaning because those carry energy and shifting your room around, shifting your dining room, your kitchen, moving things around. I've been moving a lot of my oracles around too yesterday I, that's what i did after the live stream anyways we have revisit ways to improve lighting and a sense of sanctuary cleanse stagnant energy okay that that's your your signs are leading you to this you're wanting you to clean clutter anything that is pushed in like um, your drawers start small if you have to okay or moving furniture around too we have deception someone or something is not what it they appear to be wow we're doing so good cunning manipulation and mastery of deception is at play only trust vetted vetted people information places or situations so only trust the people that you you know um that you know you can trust okay do not trust blindly your intuition is your guiding light stay in your truth say no to suspicious situations do not get bullied or coerced okay don't get bullied influenced or anything like that be careful who you let in your space as well okay mm, mm, i don't like that this could be a warning for a lot of you so just then they're trying to communicate that to you oh I, I wonder who i'm picking up on if you really feel this is not your reading i would suggest um picking another pile <laughs> okay so let's see give me more answers what are their signs letting them know what do the signs want them to know for the orange pile or maybe you've already dealt with that and that's why we have depression here okay so it's time when i was living with someone i had to move everything around i had to clean that is all energy there okay especially if it was chaotic or very uh, it was not good so the energy had to cl be cleansed okay stop putting things off okay and then when you're in de you're depressed you're lonely you're um, going through it you, of course you put things off it's so easy because you just don't feel like doing it okay prepare for obstacles okay okay hmm why 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 are we getting this kind of energy? Give me more of this. Stop putting things off. Somebody needs to hear this. So I have to keep going. Okay. Stop putting things off. Letting go of things. Making that sacrifice for now. Okay. Letting go of things so you can go towards uh, something a lot more stable. Um, letting go of you know i know it, it could be very very hard to let go of things and you know stop putting things off and start working on you yourself um your craft what is this prepare for obstacles what is this prepare for obstacles the empress okay whoa are you, are you guys pregnant or having babies families 
there could be some kind of obstacle here but i feel like it's leading to something really long term beautiful ten of pentacles with the empress that is abundance okay whatever it kind of almost seems like something here has to break down in order to really fall into place for things to start falling into place like it's kind of like a uh, law of attraction if you want a new car that's why i don't i try to i i want a new car but i but i don't try to manifest it <laughs> because i love my car and plus i don't want another bill but you know if i try to manifest a new car and my car breaks down but i love mark my car don't get me wrong i don't want my car to, i don't want that to break down i don't want nothing to happen to my car so that's why i don't try to manifest it <laughs> and yeah that's my belief so that's the way i think but it, sometimes if you want a new car you want a house you know something could happen an obstacle can happen in order to make your manifestation happen and it look it feels that way like maybe you're needing to let go of something that you really really love that you something or someone or and work on on yourself or on a project or something but you sometimes things fall down in order for things to work out the way that you are wishing for i hope i make sense okay i hope i'm making sense okay so what is this deception about though i don't like it so be careful with people around you justice oh and judgment Ooh, somebody's getting their karma don't worry whoever did you wrong or is doing you wrong they're gonna get their karma okay they're gonna get their karma Ooh, i love that well i don't love it i i'm not happy for that but things are going to, needing to also make a decision a final decision and believe me whoever did you wrong is going to pay for it later or is paying for it okay what is this depression though give me more of this depression oh what the three of swords look at that okay so could it, it could be somebody that did you wrong somebody that was not reliable they were very unreliable very inconsistent bro broke your heart but whatever obstacle that you're going okay it's really really taking you to a place where you where there's gonna be abundance money family so i feel like you're pre being prepared for it already to tell you the truth choose a new direction look at that so your your signs here are letting you know look at that at the bottom improving health you know fill up that cup with salt with you, your water start filling up that cup if you are already working yourself working on yourself that's good but some of you are being challenged here okay what is this choose a new direction some of you your angels really want you to start choosing a new direction you're holding on too much to the past mm-hmm and you could be going back and forth for some of you um you're needing to just go with the flow of things and don't try to control the situation some of you are working really hard on something that's gonna pay off as well if you're saving money um, for your kids it's gonna pay off but some of you are needing to really choose a different you know we have try again another way and then we have choose a new direction there's something here that you're needing to do differently this time um that's what your your angels and spirit guides are trying to ma uh, communicate to you okay and i feel like let's see give me more on who i'm picking up on here 
Ask your angels. This is not the right time. Look at that. Could be a Virgo that I'm picking up on. Doesn't have to be though. Give me more on who I'm picking up on. What is this new direction I'm gonna bring? Some of you are working on yourself already letting go of that, okay? And it's going to manifest to something really good. You're going to learn from it. If you choose this new direction, there's abundance coming to you, okay? Planting the seeds. Stay confident. Um, be courageous, bold, confident to let go of something that you probably invested a lot emotionally some of you are waiting for something and it's time for you to take action and go out there and make it happen something here is causing a lot of emotional baggage okay so just be careful whatever obstacles that you're going to go through it's preparing you for what you really want for this abundance okay so that is what i have i do have a scorpio a sag here a libra taurus um, Pisces, water, earth, a lot of earth, Virgo. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I see all signs there. So let's keep going. Okay, purple Buddha. We have counting minutes adds the digits. Patience, patience. Have some patience here. Some of you might be seeing 313 a lot, or some of you are nurturing you, you, your divine feminine here. Everybody has a divine feminine energy. Okay, so let's see. Stay patient, take care of you, do some self-love, self-care. We have universal law. It is time for law and order. This is an omen of warning for those who have abuse their position of power or who have violated spiritual laws of magic someone has tried to take advantage of others and manipulate a situation this is a reminder that everything comes full circle and all actions or intents returns to sender somebody had somebody that did you wrong is going to get their karma okay you might resonate with the last pile they got something like that I'm not laughing. I'm just like, whoa. Take action. Now is the time to make a move. Oh, you're going to resonate with the last pile. Mm -hmm. They did the same. They had almost the same. Do it. Don't wait. You have been deciding whether or not you should take a step. And the answer is yes. Be brave. Do what you need, what you need to do so you can get to the next step now is not the time for hesitation if you hesitate the opportunity will be lost time is of the essence make it happen okay so what i that is very true okay because i thought of an idea of how to keep myself in the algorithm on youtube I thought of an idea and then the next day i see it on somebody else's youtube well maybe not the next day maybe two or three days after i saw it on somebody else's um youtube channel um i'm not gonna say who but i was like wow that i just had that idea the other day like so take action okay do it when you get that idea maybe you already have that idea and you're needing to go out there and make it happen okay give me more of their signs signs for the purple pile signs answers for their signs signs and synchronicities don't give up yeah stay patient if you're working on something or you're yeah right now is not the time to give up believe in miracles wow what is going on with you you have to have faith believe in miracles okay um i think i've only mentioned it once and it was like a year ago but i didn't believe in miracles um because it didn't, it, 
I kind of lost it when my grandma passed away. She was the most important person in my life. And, but you know, sometimes some things are not meant to happen. So stay patient. Miracles do happen though. So let's see. Give me, don't give up. I don't know why I felt that I needed to say that. I don't know. Maybe that's for someone. Okay, so let's see. What is this don't give up? Queen of Cups. Don't give up on yourself. Do some self-love, self-care. Yeah, if you're working on yourself, don't give up on you. Okay, if you're working on a project and it, the, the rewards are slow to come, they're coming though, and they're here to stay. Okay, if you're working on, you know, manifesting love, commitment, something stable, something secure, once it gets here, it's here to stay. Okay, so don't give up on yourself, don't give up on love, and nurture that divine feminine within you. Everyone has divine feminine energies, okay? So really take care of you. This is believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. If you've been stuck in a cycle, just doing the routine here and there, believe in miracles. Something here is coming in for some of you and they're looking at how much you do. They're seeing your value. They see your value. Give me more of this too. Go with the flow of things, but stay patient. Okay. Stay balanced. Stay patient. Oh, wow. Believe in miracles. Okay. Mm, with the Ten of Cups, this is like a wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, happiness, peace, harmony. Interesting because we did the purple Buddha. I think it's harmony. Okay. But let's see. Adds stay patient. There's a lot about don't give up, stay patient. Um, add the digits. Now I get it. So 12 is 3, 1 and 2, and then 1. So 1, 2, 3. Yeah, add the digits, meaning stay patient. Let's see. What is this divine feminine energy? Ooh, your luck is changing with the star. Look at that. I love this. A wish fulfillment. A stay patient, be patient because there is something here turning around for you. Your luck is turning around. What is this universal law? Someone that abused their power. Or, you know, did you wrong? Move forward. Don't even worry about that. Let the universe handle it. Okay? Somebody that manipulated you or took advantage of you, manipulated a situation or tried to take advantage of you. I feel like you're going to be paid back for it. You're, there's movement forward here and there's happiness. You're on your way to happiness. We have too much of happiness here. Okay? Your angels want you to know that you're... What does this take action card for? Yeah, if you need to study a course, go uh, do some research, take action, okay? You're the only one that can turn things around when it comes to, um, yeah, and put the energy in there. If you're feeling stuck, you're putting too much energy into something and nothing's really working out, it's time to... Is it's actually keep doing what you're doing. Do your research too. Um, don't stop. Don't hesitate. If some of you probably have invested a lot or waiting for something, but it's for waiting for something. But it's up to you to really change the, your perception and go for it. Okay. That is what I have. Let's see what else I have here. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Uh, it was my mom, so I had to answer. <laughs> okay. What do we have here for? 
give me more for the purple petal here. Be assertive. Okay. I feel like... Usually I feel like this angel has is carrying a mask. But right now it seems like a key. A key. I think it's supposed to be a wand, but I don't know. What is this? A be, be assertive. Okay, if something here is stressing you out, okay, something or someone, okay, is stressing you out, be very firm on what you want, okay? It could be somebody here that stresses you out, you give in too much because of how they come at you, how they approach you. You could be giving in too much. Um, so just be assertive. Be very clear with your words on what you really want, you know? Yeah. Be very assertive, clear, but don't give in to any drama. Don't don't do things I hate saying don't, but you know, I don't know how else to say it. Try not to do things with impulsiveness, like uh, without even giving it much thought. Okay, be very assertive on what you really want. You want an equal give and take. You want a good raise or you want to love your job or whatever here. Something here that's coming in for some of you. It could be two things because I'm getting two different things here. Don't give up. Or if you're working on something, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on um, having a family here. There is going to be something to celebrate to be firm on what you want. There could be something coming in, something that you gave in too much time and energy and it was not um, equal and stressed you out. You need to be a lot more assertive. Okay. So that is what I have for you. That's what they're trying to communicate to you. Okay. So that is what we have. We have, um, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Taurus, uh, Air, Gemini again, Aquarius, Sag, Pisces. Okay. I see all signs, of course. Earth, air, water. Okay, that is what I have. Thank you so much again and take care of you. Bye.